And Kat, with all your fans here tonight, an interesting fan encounter thus far? Um, oh my God, and again, maybe I'll have it tonight. <laughs> 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 um, I don't. I don't know. Uh, there is a girl that I've noticed in our audience who comes dressed as Max. She comes a lot. Um, it's amazing. I don't know who she is or what. What if she wants to kill me or what? <laughs> <laughs> um, but she like made her own uniform and she comes as Max, which is pretty amazing. So that. I guess that answers that, right? It's pretty cool. I'm scared to ask, Jennifer. Is there a uh, prankster on set? Is there a prankster? Um. I have been waiting for, I want a big prank and no one's done it yet. <laughs> I, I haven't, uh, no one's done, you know, like, <laughs> you know, that surprise that I'm looking for. It's coming. It's, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Season five, when you least expect it. <laughs> and Jonathan, what is it like shooting with a live audience? How important is it to you guys as a cast? I think it's amazing because I think it's kind of a conversation that we have with the audience every week, that we come with something that we're really proud of and we understand that sometimes maybe it's not as clear to somebody who hasn't seen it for the first time. And so they kind of tell us what's working and what's missing. And so it's, and it's, when something's really working, they let you know immediately and it feels, it feels really good. And when it, it's something is missing, you think, we're not making this joke or this situation clear. And it's so nice to hear the immediate response. And you have fans come from all over the world. Yes. To see oh, you guys. It's Already, amazing. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, so you two girls say a lot of outrageous stuff. Which backstage I said I thought it was adorable because I have a sick sense of humor. I love it. I love everything that comes out of your mouth. Uh, you guys have been in hilarious situations. Do you have a favorite line thus far or a favorite moment? Oh my God. I don't know if I have, any, I mean, I have many favorite lines, but I loved freak dancing the Amish boy. <laughs> <laughs> I like letting my freak flag fly. <laughs> I like when she did that too. <laughs> Barbie, Barbie. Which oh, Barbie. The Barbie in the top. Oh, yes! Oh, you're right. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Okay, in the episode with Andy Dick, when he guest started, who was amazing, by the way, I had to, <laughs> when I had the Pierre the puppet and the Barbie doll, and I was making them, uh, <laughs> that was my favorite moment ever. And at the table read, <laughs> I had two bottles of water that just happened to be there, and I was, like, doing this. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that moment to me is so good because it was like watching somebody do an x-ray of Kat's funny bone. It was, a, it was not rehearsed, it was just her doing her thing and it was hilarious, we were screaming. And the, it was one of those moments where the audience went like on a roller coaster yeah. and then the, the network was like, she can't do the splits. <laughs> Barbie can't split. <laughs> no splits, no splits, no splits. And then we got into the can Barbie split or not and debate. And CBS said she could eventually, she did split. And speaking of, how do you get this past the network sometimes? Is that, is that um, a fight? I think that, you know, Nina, who is the head of CBS, uh, related so much to the very first moment yeah. in the pilot where, where Max, I mean, she really got immediately in the first 30 seconds, Max does that joke about, you think this is the sound that gets you service. I think this is the sound that dries up my vagina. <laughs> and, uh, and, Can we all do it? And that, that, was, the, that was our signature um. tone. And the, the thing that we get that I like best about it is within that moment, in the show later on, there's a heartwarming moment where one girl takes and rescues another. So yeah. they uh, immediately liked the uh, vibration of that. And in the current television climate, when you're up against four spinning chairs yeah. and uh, uh, people <laughs> dancing <laughs> and people diving, uh, you kind of have to have a, 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 a personality. You have to have a vibration that says, what? And ours is kind of like, what did they say last night? Well, you, you found a personality. I call it high lowbrow. We're very proud of the, the writers are very proud of our high lowbrow humor. It's not dirty as much as it's funny. Yeah. 